Carbonites Gaming. Welcome back, Knights, to another Summoner's War video with myself, Torch Healer. Today we're going to be looking at a very commonly asked question by newer players, like beginner players, newer in, and even in up to like a year, maybe even two years into the game. And that question is, how do I get more summons or how do I progress faster? All right, so we're, we'll take a look and I'll kind of explain the way that I did it. And there's a few ways that you can, you can progress quicker and you can get better stuff quicker and better runes quicker and better monsters quicker. But uh, first things first, we got to crack that beer. Ooh, that's a gooder. Alrighty. So, starting off, essentially there's two ways to do this. Alright, two ways to progress the best. Um, two ways to earn more summons. There's two ways to get better runes. And there's two ways to summon more monsters. So, for starters, I'll explain the way that I did it. Alright, so, like I've said before... My account is now 1,300 days old. Once it loads, come on, come on phone, do your thing. There we go. All right. So this is my Torch Healer account. This is my main. It is 1,321 days old at the time I'm recording this. Um, there you can see I've never completed Trial of Ascension hard. Uh, I've never really tried. I got to 94 and I just kind of got lazy. Um, a tip for anybody, as long as you clear floor 70 and get your devil mod, and the rest is really just fluff stuff, uh, like some crystals, an LD scroll for probably a 3 star, and a legendary scroll for probably a 4 star. But anyways, this is my account, and now I have created this account in one particular way. I farm. Not only do I farm, I farm a lot, but... You can always get free stuff in this game. It's really, really easy, right? Very few people think about it, but the events. You know, everybody knows there's an event going on. Uh, right now we have the six-star legend rune. So I've been tinkering around. You can, you know, all you have to do is, surprise, farm. You collect runes and you get points for your runes, right? You can get 150, which I still have to get a few. Um, 150 points will get you 10 power-up stones. Power-up stones are great for progression. Use them on your 6-star runes, like your legendary 6-stars if you have them, or your hero 6-stars if you have them, and just going from like that plus 12 to plus 15, right? It gives you, a, I think it gives you like a 10% better chance at powering up or something like that. So use them from 12 to 15, like plus 12 to plus 15, on those runes that you really want to get to 15, right? Your percentage slots, um, fours and sixes, your speed slots too. Uh, those are the ones where you're going to utilize this. But, uh, I, you know, that's all part of progression, right? You're getting better runes, you're farming more, and surprise, the more you do, you get rewards, right? So you get some energy, you get some mana, that's all well and good. Uh, you get ancient coins, which can be used, obviously, but you get mystical scrolls, you get crystals, you get a rehab stone, which is very important later down the road when, you know, if you're a beginner player, hold on to these. Don't be throwing them away. They're really, really important down the road, right? And then you get some elemental scrolls and a devilmon. Devilmon are king in this game, so hold on to them and you know, power up your six star or your five or natural five star monsters, use them as skill ups for that, and you'll be laughing, right? So hold on to them until you have a five star monster, like a natural five star monster that you want to level up. Because four stars are easy to get skill ups, right? You kind of stick to the simple rules. You farm, you'll get mystical scrolls as you farm. Um, you can get mystical scrolls through events, right? And not only that, this event just is coming to a close pretty soon, but they literally give you a four-star monster now i've already picked mine and i took a jeer because i'm going to be um six starring in, in a jeer soon i just wanted to tinker around with it and see what i could do with it right but once again 
what do you get out of this? A Devilmon, um, whatever this was. Oh, another Reap Stone, right? More stuff, summoning, like, more Mystical Scrolls. Keep your eyes on these events, right? More often than not, there's Mystical Scrolls, there's Crystals, uh, there's Devilmons. These are the things that you just keep your eyes on, right? And events happen every couple weeks. Sometimes there's one, I know this Legendary Rune event goes for like a month and a half or a month and a bit, right? But while that's going on, there's still going to be more, right? So there'll be another one probably coming up in a week or two um, from this video, right? So keep your eyes there. Another thing is if you enjoy Summoner's War, um, like myself, there is, you've obviously heard of the Summoner's War Championship, right? The SWC, this year it was in Paris, and everybody that went there, it was all, it's all broadcast on Twitch or YouTube or both, I think. But, um, yeah, so I watched it on Twitch. Surprise, they have promo codes. They usually gave out three per stream, um, and you would get random stuff. You could get crystals, you could get wind scrolls, you could get... Uh, energy, right? Mystical scrolls, you name it. There's free things to be had just by keeping your eyes on these promo codes. Um, and every month there's a promo code. It's usually released about uh, five, six days before the end of the month. Um, and I know the last one for November, or for, sorry, for December, um, it was like 100 crystals, right? Well, 100 crystals, that's not bad. That's three refreshes on your energy. Um, that's 10 refreshes in the magic shop and that's, you know, one seventh of the way to a premium pack. Uh, but still it's, it's progression, right? Crystals help you progress. You can farm more, you can grab summons, you can do what you need. Uh, another way is like I said before, you can use your crystals to refresh the magic shop. If you're looking for more summons or better runes. So if you sit here, and I know a lot of people, if you have a lot of mana, like myself, I've got 47 million, 40, almost 48 million mana. Um, I could take my crystals and sit here and just keep hitting refresh, right? I'll refresh the list and you scroll through and it's not every time you do it, but there is a chance to get light dark pieces, legendary pieces, mystical scrolls, but you can also get those six star runes. Right, so you can get a legendary six star. You can get a really good, uh, uh, her like hero six star runes. Um, so if you have extra crystals, I'm not going to suggest this as a way to go. But if you farmed up enough and you don't really want to get a premium pack, usually the rates in the magic shop are pretty close to the same as a premium pack. As 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 in saying, uh, for every roughly 750. Um, crystals you would use, you would probably get around um, 11 mystical scrolls. And you still have to buy them, and they're like 100,000 mana each or something like that. But in those refreshes, you can also get the light dark scroll pieces, you can get the legendary scroll pieces, you can possibly get runes, you can get summoning stone pieces. Um, so if you do have the mana, if you farm enough and you're selling off runes that you don't need and you just see your mana building up and building up, this might be a way that you could take your time, right? It gives you a chance to look through. You might get lucky, get a rune. You might get lucky and get 13 mystical scrolls instead of the 11 that you would normally get, right? So yeah, there is the chance that you'll get unlucky and get seven instead of 11. But it's another option you have for, rather than just going and buying a premium pack, right? A premium pack gets you 11 summons, 100,000 mana, and a, uh, what is it? Angel Mon. Oh, fire, wind, and water, angel wand, which is fine. It helps you level things up. But if you're in the same instance that I am, you can see that angel wand aren't necessarily needed as much as you would think. So I have a ton of angel wand. I have some king angel wand. It's not a big um, pain in the butt for me to to level up a, a monster, right? So... If you've watched previous videos leveling up monsters, I think I did one where it shows you an easy way to level up. Just get a get a bunch of good reps and pop an XP booster and then just run through the highest scenario you can do on hell, right? And just use their 
their uh, rep monsters to clear it, and your monster gets all of the experience. It's roughly like 20,000 per run. Um, but, so that's two ways now that we've, right, events as well as the, the uh, magic shop. Well, on top of the magic shop, you also have your guild magic shop. If this works, why don't you works? Oh, there we go. All right, so you have the guild magic shop, all right? And now this one doesn't take crystals to refresh, but it does take your guild points, your, um, oh, whatever they are, guild points is what we're calling them. So the thing is, is if you refresh this, it refreshes for your entire guild, not just you, but your entire guild. So if you go through here and you're like, well, I don't see anything that I want, um, and you say you're going to refresh it, well, you know, there's a chance that maybe one of your your guildies wants this Rage Rune, which I don't know why they would, but say they do, and now you refresh it and it's gone for them, right? So make sure that you're in communication with your guild. Let them know, hey, uh, is it okay with you guys if I refresh the guild shop and wait for everybody to say yes or the majority to say yes and let it go? Um, but that's all part of being a good guildie, like in my last video. So now you have three ways. You have your magic shop, you have your guild magic shop, you have events right? Well, on top of that, you have the Trial of Ascension. Now, I, like I said before, I usually just kind of thumb my way through the Trial of Ascension. So let's see what this does. So as you're doing Trial of Ascension, right? For those of you that haven't done it, I'm sure everybody has, you know, if you've played the game for any amount of time, you have done the Trial of Ascension. Um, for the newer people, right? Like that's, it's a big beginner's guide idea. Um, wow, this is really laggy. Um, so the Trial of Ascension is free stuff, essentially. Right? Like, you go through, and every floor you clear between, uh, like, floors 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, on every floor. Like, out of the 100, Every floor, like every 10 floors that have that number, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, all the way up to 99. Uh, each one of those gives you one summoning stone, which doesn't sound like much, but it does add up fairly quickly. Um, not to mention, at every fifth floor, you get crystals, right? For the first two, for like, you know, 0 to 10, 10 to 20, it's 10 crystals. Uh, 20 to 30, 30 to 40 is 20, and it continues up that way. Um, and then, you know, that's free crystals. And then you look at it, and you're like, well, every 10th floor, you get, uh, well, what do you get every 10th floor? Oh, it changes every time. So, like, you clear the first, like, at floor 10, you'll get, like, 50 energy. Well, that can keep you going more and more as you're playing. So now instead of just, um, God, why is that such bad lag? Oh, it's painful to watch. I apologize. I'm going to pause this for a sec. Um, so floor 10 is 50 energy. Floor 20 is like a three-star angel mon or a three-star rainbow mon. But uh, it keeps going, right? And as you go up, you can get 100 crystals for level 40, for like 40 floor 40. You can get mystical scrolls. You can get legendary scroll at level 100. Um, light dark scrolls, right? It's it's very easy to to progress and get free things by doing this. Um, and so look into it, right? It's not. Oh my god, I, I can't I can't stand how laggy this is. I apologize. <laughs> I don't know if there's something running in my background, but it is painful to watch. So. We're just going to quit out of that because that makes that makes me hurt, right? But like I was saying, floor 40, 100 crystals, two mystical scrolls, right? And then as you continue, you're getting more and more stuff, right? So that's another way to get more chances at summons, right? Obviously, for ruins, your best chance is to just farm, right? Build your teams up so that you can be farming like uh, the B10s, right? So your Giants, Dragons, and Necro B10s. And go through, and in case anybody noticed from before, I had a, a four-star um, 
win nine tail fox i did six star her just because it does make my giants team a little it's it's a little faster and more stable uh so it's running like an average of 40 to 45 seconds every run um but yeah build your teams and see what other people are using right check out youtubers right there there's a lot of them that are you know your g3s etc 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 but there is some really good kind of free to play. I know that there have been a few that have done some really good free to play things. Um, so there, right? You have your summons, you have your um, crystals, stuff like that, your energy runes, right? Now, as you farm, you can get um, materials, right? To craft runes. So obviously you can get, what are these called? The symbol of chaos is from the necro, but you can get them in giants and dragons as well. They just drop higher in necro. And the symbol of transcendence drops higher in dragons, but you can also get them in necro and giants. And then there's the giants one, whatever that is, I forget. The symbol of harmony, what, whatever, right? So you can use this to get runes, right? You farm and farm and farm, and so you're not really getting anything, but you've saved up a lot of these, uh, these materials, right? Well, you try getting yourself a rune, and it's going to be, you know, the same chances as as uh, when you're farming to get something worthwhile. But it does give you more chances to get runes, right? So that's another option. So as a free-to-play player, these are the ways that I have progressed my account. Um, and in guild, I talked about this last week. If you're in a guild, at the end of each week, you do get summoning stones. Uh, it depends on how your guild finishes, but once again, you just do the best you can, and you know you, you enjoy the game, right? As a free-to-play player, that's what I did. Kept my eye on the events. I farmed. I did TOA, right? Like all these things. Now, I told you there was two ways to do this. For all of my free-to-play viewers i appreciate you watching thank you very much like comment subscribe hit the notification button you probably don't want to watch the rest of this for everybody else the second way to get anywhere in the game is to spend money right come to us is a company and yes they do require money to continue so what do you do you can buy packs right we can look these all right, we're back. That was painful. All right, so hopefully it's a little smoother. I know it's a little laggy still. I got to do some updates from what I can sell or tell, but uh, we'll keep going through this. There's not a whole lot left. Um, but anyways, so you can always go into the shop and these packs are there every week, right? So as you can tell, you can get crystals, you can get summoning stones, you can get light dark stones, you can get mana, you can get, you name it, it's there every week. Um, the only one that I find worthwhile out of this is the daily pack, right? So daily pack one, it's like seven bucks Canadian and you get this for 15 days, right? So it doesn't sound like a whole lot, 20 crystals for 15 days. Well, you know, that's, that's you know, a few, couple hundred crystals uh, you get a mystical scroll you get the max energy storage increased by 10 for 15 days now that's really good so you can use those crystals to refresh and every time you refresh you're getting 10 extra store or 10 extra energy right so it bumps at your max up from 90 to 100 which is good so if you're gonna buy something the daily pack is a great idea Aside from that, if you're looking for summons or you're looking for runes or something like that, look for the special ones, right? So here, it's a limited time immemorial pack. And yes, you get 10 chances to buy it. It's 40 bucks Canadian. I think it's 30 American. Um, and you can buy it 10 times. So that gives you 50 immemorial stones. Now, mind you, if you buy it 10 times, it'd be $400 for me or $300 in American but every time you get a legend um, grind or gem. Uh, you also get 750 crystals, some mana stones, some energy, which is great, right? So that's an idea that you can use. Uh, it's Grinds and gems are great things, obviously. So 
look for the packs that are kind of limited time, etc., etc. Because of the time of year, the Christmas Blessings special pack. This is probably one of the best packs I've seen in a very long time. Um, Transcendent Scroll, guaranteed Nat 5. So that's not bad. Plus a Splendid Blessing, which gives you the choice of what Nat 5 you get. 10 Reappraisal Stones and 3 Devilmon. Right? So not only do you get a guaranteed Nat 5, you get to pick which Nat 5 you get. Uh, you can reap whatever runes you want for it. Plus you have 3 skill ups for it. Right? So that's 140 bucks for me. Right? 2 Legendary Scrolls. Yeah, your chances are pretty low on getting something useful, but you get two LD scrolls, two Devil Mons, plus a Splendid Blessing. Um, once again, it's a great pack for 100 bucks Canadian. I think it's probably 75 or something American. And then your base one, 40 bucks Canadian, uh, 20 Mystical Scrolls. Right? Well, that's 1500, 1500 crystals. It's really not that difficult to get 1500, but you get some energy, a Devil Mon, and a couple like 700 crystals. So it's it's the one I would pick the least. Um, I would recommend the Transcendence because it's probably going to be your best bang for your buck, especially if you don't have a Nat 5 or you have had issues summoning a Nat 5 in the past. Pick that up and get your Splendid Blessing. Good luck. Um, but for us lowly free-to-play players, it's just a dream in the wind to be able to just pull a Nat 5 knowingly um, but still, we give it a try. Uh, so with that being said, like, comment, subscribe. If, you know, if you're a free-to-play player, good luck. Let me know. And if you have any other tips or tricks for any other uh, free-to-play players that might be watching, leave them down in the comments. Um, if you're a pay-to-win player or a pay-to-play player, um, you know, don't spend more than you can. That's the biggest thing is, you know, you don't want to run yourself into, into any issues by playing a mobile video game. Uh, but if you do have that extra money laying around and this is how you want to spend it, good luck to you. Hopefully you get exactly what you're looking for. And uh, yeah, just you know, keep us in mind. But um, yeah, to everybody watching, thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification button, and I will see you next time. Keep those shields up. Well, Knights, you made it all the way to the end. You know what that means. You've won the chance to watch another one of our videos. Or perhaps even subscribe. Make sure to leave a comment. And uh, we'll see you next time.